Hello friends, it's Merlin here with Savory Thoughts at SavoryThoughts.com. Welcome back to our channel. If you are here looking for ways to have a functional kitchen, including preparing delicious meals for yourself and your family, I encourage you to please subscribe to our channel so you don't miss out on when we post new videos. Now in this video, we will be making this delicious Spanish empanadas. So let's get to it. While the eggs are boiling, go ahead and let's start on the meat. We're adding two tablespoons of olive oil, followed by the onions. Next, we are adding in bell peppers. Start adding in the bell peppers, allow it to cook and soften. Next, you're gonna add in your ground meat. In this case, we are using ground turkey. Use your spoon to break the meat apart and continue to stir and combine with the onions and the bell pepper. Next, we are adding in chili powder, followed by cumin. And guys, the full recipe is on our website at savorythoughts.com. We're also adding in dried parsley, as well as dried pepper flakes. We're also adding in salt and pepper to season and give it a stir. Continue to cook. Once the liquid has reduced and evaporated, then you're going to add your white wine. You can also use white wine vinegar if you don't have regular white wine at home. Allow that to cook for an additional five minutes and remove it from the heat. Transfer it to a bowl and add in chopped olives. We are using green olives. Then add in the chopped eggs and give it a stir and set it aside. Now for the dough, we are using store-bought dough and this is a pie crust. This is similar to the same type of dough you would make if you were making this dough at home for your Spanish empanadas. So the recipe is on the website at savorythoughts.com with full ingredients and measurements of how to make the pie dough. Roll the dough out completely. Lightly dust with all-purpose flour on both sides. This will keep it from sticking to the cutting board. Lightly roll it with a rolling pin. Now when you're making Spanish empanadas, you need the dough to be thick, so be sure not to over roll it. We are using a small bowl because we want the shape to be the same size as we continue to make the Spanish empanadas. Remove the dough from the bowl and start applying your egg wash. And for the egg wash, we use one egg and one tablespoon of water. Apply the egg wash on the ring of the dough all the way around. Once you are done applying the egg wash, then add in the filling in the center. We are using a tablespoon to help us, so that way all of the filling is about the same size. Be careful so you do not overfill as you do not want the pastry to fall apart. So next, use your fork to help guide you and fold one half of the dough over to the other half. 
using your fingers, press down to seal. And use your fork to continue to seal and finish the process. That way, while your, your Spanish empanadas are baking, they are still together and you do not risk losing the meat. Continue with the next one until you are done with preparing the dough for the Spanish empanadas. Repeat the process until you are completely done. Next, take your dough and set it aside on a cookie sheet or a baking tray. Feel free to line it with parchment paper or if you have a non-stick version that will work as well. Apply the egg wash to all of the empanadas. Place in a preheated oven at 350 degrees for 20 to 25 minutes. And now we are moving on to our sauce. This delicious sauce is made with sour cream, lemon juice, salt to taste, black pepper to taste, followed by garlic powder, pumpkin seeds, which will give it a nice crunch, and dried cilantro. If you have fresh cilantro, that would work just as fine. Stir to combine, and that's it. Your sauce is ready to be served with your Spanish empanadas. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell as we post new videos weekly. Cheers.